Yeah, so I'm really just thinking now, what might be some of these like ideas that we have of ourselves that we've been socialized from our traditions and our family? and from the society and in life when we are when our daily actions are controlled and heavily influenced by those elements we can't be free freedom really is only when you are able to not care what other people think and in a way step out of your your perceived version of yourself which actually isn't you it's the version that other people and the society and the the wider context put onto you but that is actually not who you are and if you are able to connect with your true authentic self within then you're able to still stay connected with that but with your family and your friends and the society but you will, in a way, be in the world, but not of the world. And in that way, you will not be, you will not take anything personally, because people's ideas of you will not be important. And that's the key thing, I think, because it really is, it's important, the ideas that you have of yourself. When you have a good idea of yourself and you love yourself and you know yourself then you don't build yourself up based on the perception of the wider culture and the society and the family and, and things around you. Being, being able to in a way disconnect yourself from that so that you can become the human that you need to become and in doing that that may or may not make your family and the society proud but it's not about that it's about doing what makes what sets your heart on fire and living your truth and if you can do that then you will help other people live their truths as well If you try to live your life to please others, it's, it's impermanent. You might please someone one day, and then by living the same life, you, that person is no longer pleased at you. So it's chasing after something that is constantly changing. The only constant in life is the love that you can have for yourself.